Hello everyone, welcome back to Gajroy Tips and in this video we are going to talk about how to fix Asus ROG Ally is having game crashing issue which is happening for many of the users. So whenever you are trying to play any games, for example uh, GTA 5, Wild Hunter 3 or even any one of the games over here in the Asus ROG Ally, you are having the gaming crashing issue. So why this is happening, this happens for many of the reason. So we're going to talk about how we can fix this app. So let me directly get into the step. The first one, when you're having a crashing issue, all you have to do is we just need to do a restart on your Asus ROG Ally. That is what we have to do as the basic step. For this, what we need to do is we just need to go over here in the start icon. Now click on this power icon over here. You can see there is a power icon. Go for a simple restart. Once the restart is done, if the issue is still there and you're not able to fix the issue up, you can try with the next step. Next step is nothing but what we need to do is, if you're having this issue, we need to try reinstall back the game. So this might work for in most of the cases. So as you can see, if you're trying to play the game uh, with the library, I mean, for example, in the Steam, we can see there are a lot of games over here for me. So you can uninstall the game and you can reinstalling it back. For uninstalling the game over here from the Steam, what we need to do is we just need to do like this. If you wanted to uninstall any game, just press this particular game over here. You can just press this like this. So once you press and hold, you will be getting the option to uninstall the game. So you can uninstall the game that is fine with it. So this is what you have to do. So in most of the cases, when it comes to how to uninstall the game can be done very easily from here, you can uninstall the game. And you have to keep in mind when you're reinstalling it back, you should not be installing it back on the same local disk. So over here, as you can see, I'm having only one local disk. So uninstalling the game and reinstalling back on the same local disk will be bringing up the issue again. So we have to install it back on any other local disk. For example, if we uninstall from C, try into reinstalling it back on D or any other drive that will be working fine for you guys as well. Next one, after trying with this, if the issue is still there, you can try with the next one. Next one is nothing but we need to increase the virtual memory. For increasing the virtual memory first, we need to know what is the RAM of your Asus ROG Ally. For this, we just need to go over here. Let me go to the settings. Now from here, you can go to the system. Now keep scrolling down and you can navigate to about. Now from here, you will be understood that what is your RAM. So that my RAM is 16 GB. Okay. So now we need to do a calculation and we need to increase the virtual memory. So what you need to do is we just need to go over here in the search. We need to search for view advanced system setting. Go to the advanced tab. Go to the settings once again. Go to the advanced once again over here. Now from here, we need to go for change. Now you have to uncheck this box. You have to uncheck this box. And keep in mind, you select the uh, disk where the game is in start. So here I'm having only local disk C. So that is why I have to select local disk C. So if you check this box, what happens not be able to select the particular local disk. So you have to uncheck this, which is very important and select the local disk. Once after that, you have just need to go over here over the custom size, set the value for initial size and the maximum size. Initial size is 1.5 times the total RAM and the maximum size is 3 times the total RAM. So we need a calculator. So what I'm going to do is I'm just go over here once again. So let me cancel this all. Okay, I'll, I'll be canceling this all. And uh, just let me go over here. Let me search for a calculator. So I need a calculator. So once I, uh, I have a calculator, what I need to do is I just need to type the RAM. That is 16, 16 GB is the RAM. Now I have to multiply the 16 GB with 1024. So that brings you 16,384 and I have to multiply it with 1.5. That brings me 24,576. So this is the value which I need to give for the initial size. So I need to go for view advanced system setting. Go to the adset again, go for settings once again, advanced once again, go for change. And here I have to uncheck this and I have to go over here for the custom size. And here I have to give the value over here that is 24,576. So let me give the value 24,576. And I have to go for this one. I have given the value 24,576. Same way I need to go for the next one. That is next one in the sense I have to go for the next value that is all about. I have to do is for the next one that is nothing but what I need to do is I need to go for uh, the maximum size. So the maximum size is nothing but I have to do the calculation once again. 16 GB is the RAM, so I have to multiply it with 1024. That brings you this value. Multiply into 3. That brings you 14 and 152. 
So I have to go over here once again, go to the view advanced system setting, go to the advanced settings once again, advanced once again, go for change, uncheck this and here I have to go for the custom size, the value over here that is 49, 49, 156 and I have to set the value and I have to check this and for the initial size I have to give the value that is 24, 5, 7, 6. So here as you can see I have given both the value initial size and the maximum size is given. Once afterwards you have to go for OK. So now I'll be cancelling this because uh, it is not necessary. So because it will be making me changes for me I'm not having an issue. So you have to save this and once afterwards do a restart. So increasing the virtual memory did work for many users. So you can try this out. That is why I'm recommending you can try increasing the VRAM. So once afterwards try launch the game on the Steam or whatever it is, Epic Games Launcher or whatever it is, you can try launch the game. Even if it's still, it's not working, we can try with the next one. That is all about, we have to switch to desktop mode. For this, we just need to press over here, there is a button. So just press this particular button over here. And right now, as you can see, over here in the mode, control mode, we have gamepad, desktop and auto. So you need to change this to desktop mode. That is what you have to do. Once you change to desktop mode, you can try launching the game and that is what you have to do. Most probably when you change this to desktop mode, the issue has to be fixed. Last and the least one is all about nothing but we need to update the driver. For this, we just need to go over here. Now from here, what you need to do is you can do like this. That is, we just need to go over here. You can go to the device manager. So just go to the device manager over here. Sorry. So just press and hold. So you'll be taken to device manager. Now from here in the device manager, you can update the driver for display adapters can be updated. Audio can be updated. Just update all the drivers. Once you update the driver, just close everything over here. Once you close everything, most probably when you're trying to launch the game, you'll not be having any kind of issues such as it is crashing and all these kind of issues will be completely fixed. So once afterwards, try launching the game and you'll not be having any kind of crashing issue. I hope this video is helpful and if you find this video helpful, don't forget to subscribe and click on the bell icon for more notifications. See you soon in the next video. Peace out. Bye bye.